Alright, we're going to be playing Ellie's. This is an F game I've been waiting for for a while, ever since 2017. And it finally released. And I'm ready to play. I'm not going to say anything else, let's just jump right into it. I have the pre released version that's going to be handed to me. Didn't want to show anything off until like after the game released, though. So, it's here. Uh, hello. Not really sure how to start this off, but let us get to it. I do have to state this. These messages are running on a battery-powered tape recorder, so don't worry about it stopping midway. Though, I want to thank you for coming in to look at our paranormal problems with our electronics. I'm very grateful that you're doing this, but let us get to it. I'll explain more about what happened tomorrow night as I'm strapped on time, but I'll get the basics for you. First, I have to remind you of the legal mumbo jumbo since this is an alleged haunted place that you're researching. Since you signed the quote unquote we're not responsible document, I will paraphrase again on tape. Ellie's LLC is not responsible for death or injury to you. We're also not responsible for damage to any property owned by you. Uh, now, with that out of the way, we can talk about ghosts. Now, you're currently in our office, which we've turned into a paranormal center with cameras. Somewhat cool, you know. You can flip into the cameras, and from there, you will have windows. You can click around on the map to go to different cameras, and you can also move the windows around to how you view fit. Plus, you can hide or show them. Cool, huh? Oh, right. Uh, about those cameras, we're running everything on a single CPU, which can get overwhelmed. It's best not to stress the system out, as it will crash if you overload it. You will need to reboot the system if a crash happens, but whatever camera crashed is gone unless you pull the reset lever on your left. If you get out of the camera, you can see the lever on the left near the desk, but don't pull it unless you need it, because it is a limited use tool, and I can not assure you it will work again after one use. It will shut down power to the building and reboot the whole system, and will fix crash cameras. Still, it's a limited use tool, so don't abuse it. You can also turn off the main lights, and once the main lights are out, you can also flash the hall lights to see what's down the hallway. Just try to keep the lights on as much as you can. It's not safe to leave them off for an extended period of time. Now, tonight you might see two of our cast members, Joe the Pirate and Hunter the Farmer. They're themed to be good examples. Joe is an example of why stealing is wrong, and Hunter promotes healthy eating. Now, if Joe comes into your office, he likes to go into the vent. Should he do that, you need to turn off the lights. He will go into scanning mode, will wait until his eyes aren't red, and turn the lights back on again. It should scare him away. And as for Hunter, if you can't find him on any cameras, listen for heavy footsteps and be mindful of your hallway lights. Is that him over there? Alright, I'll leave you to it. Good luck, and good night. Oh, I did it. Uh, 
my shit. Ah. Well, let's go. How's it going, I guess? So, I saw some of the stuff on the cameras last night when I reviewed the footage. Pretty strange, right? Yeah. Now, I said I would speak more about this place and what happened since you're from out of town. You probably don't know what really happened besides a few murmurs here and there. Back in 1983, we had an incident. A man in a blue suit came in, shot two people, one a young girl named Emma, and then himself. This incident hurt our reputation but what really hurt our reputation is the claims of ghosts, from shadow figures to footsteps to the animatronics acting strange. It made families too scared to come here, but we've been looking for help with this because it's really starting to hurt. Speaking of shadow figures, oh, ever since I settled that. we've had two of them, but the only one only comes out later on when he, I guess, gets to know the people better. Still, the other one which we think is the ghost of Emma, the child who was murdered here, if you do happen to see her, she seems to not like being looked at as creepy and odd as it is. We've noted looking at her scares her off, I guess. She's been spotted in multiple cameras and sometimes in the hallways to your office. Now, since you've been here for a night, the ghosts, I think, are shy, but you're going to be here for a week. They'll come out more and more, so as I stated last night, Holy just be careful and be mindful. I'll talk to you later. Good luck and good night.
goodness. Night three, we're doing great. We're doing great, we're doing great, we're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great. Hello. Uh, what's cooking? So, uh, what's you're still here. That's neat, I guess. Thanks for sticking around with our problem. I think by now you should be really getting the hang of it, so I won't talk as much. But as I said last night, the more you're around with them, the more they'll move around, so you might see our other mascot, Hallie the Cheetah. She's themed as a sheriff, but she's a bit quirky if you ask me. She doesn't like being looked at or sudden action, so try not to look at her shoes on the cameras or it comes into your office. I'll let you go now, so I'll talk to you later. Good luck and good night. that work oh well that's a bug that's not even joe who killed me whatever I, I have the wrong build anyways oh my god okay i'm not playing this game this game is pretty good though i will admit it's really unique and has a lot of shit that are 